Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you guys been watching, you guys know that I've been working on trying to put this 2.93 differential in the E39. Um, the last video I think I uploaded actually shows um, how uh, it uh, or what it's like to drive this vehicle uh, with the 3.46 gears in there and the RPM. So if you didn't check that video out, go back and watch that. And then I kind of explain why I'm uh, going to be putting the 2.93 gears in here. But what I wanted to show you today is the reason why I have not put this 2.93 gear set in here is because this pinion flange, or I think they call it the input uh, pinion flange or the pinion flange input. Um, but basically this goes to the drive shaft um, which of course connects to your, your, your vehicle. So because my 3.46, uh, gear set, um, had a smaller pinion flange, I was going to have to swap, uh, take this off of here and, uh, ultimately, uh, swap it out to put the one that fits the drive shaft that I have on the car. Um, so I came up with this idea yesterday and because I wasn't going to use this flange, uh, I decided to see if I could modify it. Online, they actually sell a adapter <clears throat> which adapts this smaller drive shaft. This is my automatic automatic drive shaft um, from oh, and that transmission is still for sale for anybody that needs one. One hundred thirty thousand miles on it. Um, but yeah, this is the drive shaft from my automatic swap. And the end of this one was way smaller than this flange. I believe this gear set came out of a 530i, which would have had a bigger drive shaft. So rather than trying to source a drive shaft, which I've had a little bit of trouble finding one, I was going to either swap the flanges or find a drive shaft and swap the back half of the drive shaft onto the car. Um, but last night I was sitting here thinking, I said, you know what? Let me look online. They sell an adapter, the adapter that go for this uh, smaller drive shaft to the bigger drive shaft, you wouldn't believe it's like 250 bucks, um, and I'm just not paying that. So what I decided to do was just modify the flange. So I created a template, and the template I used right here out of cardboard. And the way I created that template, let me go, let me go get some, oh, I'll do it right here. So I took the end of my drive shaft. Let's see if I can do it with, with one hand here. I took the end of my drive shaft. Let me get this bag out of here. Sorry. Took the end of the drive shaft and I put it on a piece of cardboard like this. And I made some impressions in the cardboard. As you can see, you can see the impressions right there. <clears throat> and then from that point, and I'll, I'll just show you kind of the one I worked on yesterday. From that point, see here's, that's the impressions on one that I made yesterday. And then I took a Sharpie marker and filled in the holes on the impression. And then I laid my template down in between the holes, these are the factory holes for the bigger drive shaft. I use my template here, line this up, and then use the Sharpie marker and uh, pretty much mark to where I was gonna start drilling. Uh, the hardest part of this whole thing, um, because I didn't have the correct, I would say type of drill bit, I broke several drill bits as you can see. Now granted, these are Harbor Freight, um, but I mean, some of these say they're for steel. I don't know particularly that the ones from Harbor Freight were specifically for steel. Um, so, you know, this is the aftermath of it. Um, so just be prepared to break drill bits. The drill bit size that actually is, you know, the final size that you need uh, is right here. Let me see. This one, does it even say? Doesn't even say, guys. Sorry about that. This thing's so trashed and tore up. 
I think the number of this drill bit was said DeWalt 311, but this is the, the right size. And it's the, it's also from the size of the um, studs on the back of the drive shaft. So I'm just doing this quick video just to show you guys that you can modify that pinion flange. And here's how it sits now. Let's see if I can do this with one arm. Let me see here, line it up. There we go. So I'm just pushing down on it. There you go, so it's, it's in there. So um, next I just gotta, you know, obviously clean this off, um, clean all the metal shavings off, fill it up with oil and install it. So I'll do another video once I actually install it, but I just wanted to show you guys that you can modify the flange if you don't wanna swap it over, just add some additional holes. Obviously once I get this thing back on the road with this gear set, I'll let you guys know if I'm experiencing any problems with it. Maybe the, my holes aren't lined up. Maybe there's a, a vibration or something that's that's um, you know not not noticeable at the moment. Uh, so I will report back once I get it in there. But enjoy the video, um, and thanks for watching. Again, I do still have that automatic transmission. Uh, it's a 5L40E, 130,000 miles on it. I actually have a video on my page uh, when I had it installed showing. Uh, it running and driving. So if you're interested, hit me up. Um, otherwise, y'all have a good day. Later.